Welcome to the Great African Leadership Series where we feature great inspirational speeches and quotes from African leaders. We will sleep peacefully when we leave this world because we know we have left a custodians of the struggle. And the wonderful speeches we have heard here, I'm so proud of the Vice SRC President. You know what it means to have young women like this on an occasion of this nature. You have no idea what it means uh, to our generation. That day, Yabo Mamulili and Ngoi, those 60 years ago, when they collected women from all over the country, women who were walking barefoot, women who came from the countryside with their babies on their backs, and it was those years when apartheid was at its worst. South Africa was a police state. Even Nazi Germany did not compare to what we went through those many years ago. And that today we have young girls like this, Roma Mutandi, the wonderful speeches we have heard here no, no, I'm So open and frank. This was the idea of this forum. About what you are doing, Tina, which generation here too. We will sleep peacefully when we leave this world because we know we have left a custodians of the struggle for women in your hands. Congratulations. You know, those many years ago when we fought for the liberation of this country, no problem was uh, insurmountable. Sasasilwa for the liberation of our country. And the struggle those days was our opium. We were so hooked by our thirst for freedom that we did not foresee that in 2016 I would hear a, a young girl saying she has attempted suicide many times. It is an indictment to us, to all of us sitting here as mothers grandmothers and their sisters and aunts to you. In the unless answer, what have we done to our country? What have we not done that has landed us up to this situation in which we find ourselves? Nam uh, Sanje, the DA is able to get image was from us yeah. and you women are in the majority yeah. what have we done to South Africa all of us need to introspect and find out what have we done to these children oh. oh, sorry this is my nurse uh, from the military <laughs> She says I need to take a sip of water. My, my five-year-old, her daughter, came uh, from school and said, you know, you know, you know, Coco, uh, oh, oh, Ramos, there's a, a little boy I like in school. His name is Ramos. But uh, uh, this is a non-racial crush. Uh, but Ramos said uh, he likes my pretty face but uh, he didn't like my kinky hair. Five-year-old. 
and this boy is of her age. And then we are surprised when there are sparrows of today calling us monkeys. And we think it's a joke and it doesn't affect you. It affects only that person who was called a monkey. It insults all of us. These people must not tempt us again. These people who are of the other color must not go back to that racism which drove us to the forest. We are still there. We are still alive. And it's not Susan Anin. It is about time the women of this country gave a strong warning to all those races up there, out there, who keep come calling us monkeys, who keep calling us baboons, that they must remember. They must remember what we have done to them in the past. There were times when we were all by ourselves in the country. And yet we defeated them. We defeated apartheid. We fought them. And uh, they knew that uh, they could no longer win any battle on racism. So they must not keep reminding us of those days because uh, our people are still there. Do not continue provoking us. You do not play with that fire as long as we breathe. Amanda! And share this video with friends and family to support the channel.